Welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 1 of ASP.NET Grid View tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss about the differences between data grid and grid view controls and what to choose data grid or grid view control. Now, data grid control is introduced in ASP.NET 1.1 and it is still supported today, whereas grid view control is introduced in ASP.NET 2.0. On my machine at the moment, I have Visual Studio 2010 installed. Now, if you're not sure about the version that's installed on your machine, it's very easy to identify. Open Visual Studio, click on Help, and then click on About Microsoft Visual Studio and you should see the version of Visual Studio that you have. So here I have Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 and then I have .NET Framework version 4.0. Okay, so I have an ASP.NET Web application here which I have already created and then if I navigate to the toolbox here, look at this, I have some set of standard ASP.NET controls under the standard tab and here I can't find data grid control and then if I scroll you know to the data tab again here I can't find my data grid so where is this data grid control you know it doesn't appear in my toolbox a lot of users has actually asked this question it turns out that if you're using Visual Studio 2008 or later versions by default data grid control is not shown in the Visual Studio toolbox if you want the data grid control to appear in Visual Studio toolbox there are three simple steps to follow so flip to Visual Studio. So this is my toolbox here. Now let's say for example I want the data grid control to appear under data tab then right click you know on the data tab and then select choose items. Now within choose toolbox items dialog box navigate to data grid. Actually you should find two data grids there. So here we can see two data grids and if you look at this data grid the second one it's actually present in an assembly called system.vendors.forms so obviously this is a data grid that belongs to vendors application development but we want a data grid um, that is required for an ASP.NET web application so I'm going to use the one which is present in system.web assembly so check that and click OK so now we should have data grid displayed under data tab okay so we have the data grid and we also have grid view control okay now data grid and grid view control if if, if we want to display you no know, tabular data that's present in a SQL server database or an XML document then we can use either of these controls but then keep in mind data grid is introduced in ASP.NET 1.1 and grid view is a relatively new control which is introduced in ASP.NET 2.0 okay now let's say for example I want to display some data on this grid view control how do I do that now there are several ways to display data in a in a data grid or a grid view control but then today let's see you know how to use some of the declarative data source controls that were introduced in dotnet 2.0 now here you can see some data source controls like XML data source SQL data source and then object data source you know all these are called as declarative data source controls we'll be talking about them in a great detail in the upcoming videos but then let's use SQL data source for the time being let me drag and drop this onto the web form now here I have SQL Server Management Studio in this uh, you know I have this database called sample where I have this table TBL products now let's say for example I want to display this data within a grid view control obviously we can write you know manually write ADO.NET code to do that but I can also use these declarative data source controls to do that okay so I have this declarative data source control which is called as SQL data source control now I click on this icon here and then look at this I have the smart tag configure data source so once I click this configure data source look at this configure data source window appears now I can create a new connection to SQL server if I want otherwise actually at the moment if you look at in my web.config file I already have a connection string here and if you look at the name of the connection string it's called DB connection string and it's pointing to the SQL server that's installed on my local machine and I'm using Windows authentication here okay so now let's flip back to that web form click on that SQL data source and then click on configure data source now look at this drop down list here that shows the connection string that I already have in my web.config file now if you don't have a connection string defined you can create a new connection if you want okay so since I already have a connection string I'm going to select that 
and then obviously that shows the connection string that we have in the web.config file and then click next now the SQL data source is going to connect to the database and then it's going to display all of the tables that I have in my database so at the moment we want you know all the rows from TBL products table so I'm going to select that and then I'm going to select all the columns look at the query here select star from TBL products if you don't want to use star you can uncheck that and then select ID name description etc okay and then click next you can test the query if you want so test query that should display all the rows from uh, that SQL Server database table click finish now look at this what we have done so far is we have configured a control called SQL data source control we have told it to which database to connect to and and from which table to retrieve the data from and then we have done that using the designer so if I flip it to the source mode you can actually see that it's actually a control called SQL data source which has got an ID of SQL data source 1 run it is equal to server just like any other standard ASP.NET control and look at the connection string so connection strings dot you know colon DB connection string that's the connection string that we have in our web.config file so this connection string tells the SQL data source control to connect to which database and then look at the select command select ID name description from TBL products okay so this SQL data source control now knows to connect to that database and then retrieve data from that particular table and then all we have to do at this time is let's say for example I want to display this data within a data grid control so let me go ahead and drag and drop the data grid control onto the web form so I have this data grid control here and then if I click on this um, icon here and then look at this there is um, a drop down list here choose data source and then once I click the drop down list I have my SQL data source control so now I am associating the SQL data source control with this data grid control okay so I select that look at this the moment I select that you know this data grid control knows that you know ID name and description columns are returned back by the SQL data source control look at this it shows the name of the columns already okay now look at this there are three things here we have the SQL Server database table we have the SQL data source control in between and then the grid view control itself that I mean sorry the data grid control so this data grid control is actually presenting the data to the end user and then this data grid control doesn't communicate directly with the database instead it talks to SQL data source and SQL data source control knows how to connect to the database execute command and retrieve data okay so let's go ahead and run this now and see what's gonna happen so obviously when this web form renders you know this data grid control should actually display um, the data from that table look at that ID name description I have those four rows and if we click on the source all we have done here is you know data grid we have an ID and run it is equal to server and data source ID is equal to SQL data source one pretty simple now if I want to display the same data in a grid view control how do I do that let me drag and drop a grid view control onto the web form and then obviously look at this it's exactly similar I click on this uh, smart tasks button and then choose data source and then here again I see uh, you know SQL data source one I select that look at that you know again the grid view control detects these are the three columns that are returned by SQL data source control now when the web form renders you should see the same data in data grid as well as the grid view control okay so either it's grid view control or data grid both of these controls know how to work with this declarative data source controls but keep in mind declarative data source controls can be used with the data grid only for data selection but tasks like paging sorting deletes and updates must be done you know in code manually but the grid view control can achieve all of these using the declarative data source control so grid view works best with with these data source controls than uh, you know data grid control and again another point to keep in mind is that grid view uh, introduces new column types so if you look at you know data grid control for example um, obviously the column types if you look at that you know the columns there are only a very few columns you know bound column button column edit command hyperlink template but then on the other hand if you look at the grid view control it has got more column types so 
there are more more column types than data grid control not only these column types even grid view control introduces some new events as well and it gives you more flexibility so the obvious next question is what to choose data grid or grid view control now if you are using asp.net 2.0 or later i personally suggest to use grid view control over data grid control because it's more flexible it's more advanced than data grid control now, if you're wondering why is data grid control still there, in spite of having this grid view control, that's because for maybe backward compatibility. But if I'm using ASP.NET 2.0 or later versions, then there's no reason why I want to actually use data grid control over grid view control. On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET C Sharp and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.